bunny buns welcome back to my channel i'm brushes and bunnies and today we're going to be doing the three marker challenge so i've been wanting to do this challenge for a very 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 long time i just never got around to doing it because i do have my copic chow markers in a plastic box and i just didn't want to take it out of the box and make a mess and have it all disorganized so maybe in the future i will do another one with the copic chows um, but for now we're just going to keep them in the box and use a different brand. Also, I uh, do apologize for my hair right now. It's a complete mess, I know. I had it up all day and I took it down and now it's like <laughs> So we're gonna be using a different brand for this challenge. I do own a set of five uh, brush markers from Windsor and Newton, so it's these guys right here. And I thought it'd be like the perfect marker or the perfect brand to actually do this challenge with because they are a fantastic marker. I'm going to be doing a product review very soon. Um, so kind of consider this sort of challenge sort of like the pre-video, pre the pre-product review video of it. I got the pastel collection. I got the set of five markers on Amazon. I cannot remember how much it was, but I will link it down below in the description. But here are the markers that, or the colors that I have. We've got a set of these. Um, so there's like a pink, a, uh, actually you don't know, there's a pink, there's sort of like a purplish color, um, there's a gray color, and then there's a aqua blue, and a kind of grayish blue, and a green. And they're supposed to be pastel, um, they look beautiful, but yeah, we're gonna talk about this in another video. But for now, we're just gonna basically select three random colors. I do only have five, so it's a little bit cheating, uh, I know, I just don't have a large selection of them. I got my tin can here. Isn't it cute? I got this for Christmas. It's a cookie jar, like that. Um, but I'm not gonna use it for cookies because, you know, I'm just gonna use it for art supplies. So yeah, it's it's really, really cute. Like, look at this little patterns. I love it. It's kind of uh, pop surrealism a bit. And the colors are beautiful. So we're gonna put the markers in here and we're going to randomly select them. Okay, so, got my markers in here. It's a little bit loud. I should not have chosen a tin can but it was the cutest little thing I had so yeah so we've got our markers and we are going to randomly select them blindfolded or closing my eyes we're just gonna pick three all right okay so you see my hand going in there Loud. all right the first one like this one it is the pebble blue y'all see that it's the pe pebble blue um it's more of like a grayish blue um it's supposed to be pastel it's a little bit more of a darker pastel but it works really really well um so i'm actually quite happy that i got this color okay choose number two. Oh no i did not want to get this color guys i didn't want to get this color I did not want to get this color. Okay, so I got the Cool Aqua. Cool Aqua. Um, this is more of a vibrant blue-ish pastel color. Um, I have two blues now, which kind of sucks. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I didn't want to get this color. I wanted to get the green. Um, so maybe next choice, I might get the green. That'd be cool to have two blues and a green. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, my hair is driving me crazy. It's all staticky. Okay, last one. Ho oh, ho ho! We got my favorite color. So this is my favorite color. Um, and I don't know how it's going to work with the other two colors. So basically I got this one. I don't know if you guys... Pink Pearl. Um, it is called pink, but it's more on the like purplish lavender side, which is what I really like because purple is my favorite color. So we got these three colors. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. They're all kind of similar in, in shade. Um, we got the pebble blue, we got the cool aqua, and we got the pink pearl. We got our three colors, and now I'm gonna put my hair up get it out of my face and we're gonna start drawing. So apart from my brush markers from Windsor & Newton, I am using different art supplies. So we'll start off with the sketching paper. I'm using the brand Dollar Rodney. I have a jumbo pad of 150 sheets. The size is just a regular A4 and it's about 65 pounds in thickness or weight, I should say. I think this is a pre pretty regular size, but I do like this because it's a little bit more thick and it really works nice when using marker. 
For the actual pencil work, I'm using Faber-Castell and I'm using the Castell 9000 3H pencil. And this is really nice and it's a bit different than my regular Prismacolor light blue cold erase pencil that I normally use in my art. Um, but yeah, I wanted to draw with this one because it just shows up much better on the actual paper. Now the inspiration of this sort of drawing just came randomly as I selected the colors. I actually had no idea what to draw. Absolutely no idea. Um, and as soon as I selected different types of blues and a little bit of a tinge of purple, just something elegant came to my mind and I kind of wanted to draw some sort of ice princess. I don't know. I think this is pretty stereotypical with the blues. It's kind of like your first go-to. You think of blue, you think of ice, you think of cold, you think of winter. So I thought it was a little bit appropriate to just kind of sketch some random little mystical elf creature. Um, this kind of style is just more so of a character style, um, not realistic in the sense, it's just something that I kind of want to, uh, yeah, just doodle a bit. So I hope you guys really like it. I think it was really fun to draw. Once I had the general outline of the character finished and as well as the sort of background that I did, I then reached out for my favorite Castell Pit Artist pen in the black color. I used the size S as well as the size XS for the extra small and also the size F which is a more thicker um, black liner and I just basically outlined the um, drawing in itself so before adding the actual marker work I just wanted to outline and I played with the sort of thicknesses of the outlines um, I kind of want to really work on this sort of skill of outlining I think it's actually more difficult than it looks like because you gotta have a straight hand and you gotta kind of like make sure that your lines are very straight and not like kind of curvy or um, shaky is what I mean and just make sure that they're not shaky so this actually takes a lot of effort and a lot of practice um, so don't worry guys if you guys have shaky lines just keep practicing it's gonna come um, with time so as I'm experimenting with art, I do like to kind of shake things up a bit. So this kind of sketch or doodle, I decided to do a thicker outline on the outside. This is something that I quite admire. It's a really beautiful style. I also played around with kind of etching lines um, as shadows, which is kind of sort of like a comic book style um, art style, I guess you can say, when you use your black liner and you sketch just lines. I don't really know the technique, what this is called, but you sketch it in the form of a shadow. Um, and I really, really like this, so I tried to do that sort of effect. Now, when I was done with the actual outlining, I proceeded with the coloring job, and this was the best part. It was really, really, really fun. I first started with the blues. I kind of outlined the shadows of the hair, the shadows of the face, and I used a mixture of the pebble blue and the cool aqua to kind of get this nice 3D effect with the hair. Um, so I darkened some of the shadowy parts of her hair, um, and then I added twinges of purple in between for the flowers in her hair. So I think that this was a actually not a bad combination. I have to really say though, I did really struggle with the face. I should have probably left it much whiter than I did in the end. I was not happy because I wanted to kind of capture these shadows, but with the colors that I had, with the sort of the pebble blue and the cool aqua, it was just too strong to try to get a nice blend between the white of the paper and the color of the marker ink and it was just not possible. So the more I was adding marker, the more it looked kind of distorted to me. And I was just like, ah. And really looking back on it now, I should have left the face white, but yeah, I had to color it in. I mean, that's all part of art. It's experimenting, trying new things. Some things will work, some things won't work. Um, so don't worry if it looks bad in the end, guys, because at least you tried and you learned something. Basically, as a final touch, I used my white gel pen and I created some sort of like snowy effect in her hair and across her body and across the ice crystals in the back. And this might be considered cheating to some, but I thought it was just a really nice effect to add. Um, and I also added her eyeballs. I actually was going to keep them blank for the entire thing, but I was like, ah, okay, let's just add a little bit of soul in there. So I did add some eyes, some blue eyes, um, and I think it just brought the whole piece together. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Give me some likes. I really, really like your support. It's really encouraging me to continue on with this YouTube channel. 
And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new to this channel. I will be live streaming tomorrow, so I hope you guys tune in. I wish you guys all a great day and keep being awesome.